how we love you. We honor you. We surrender to you. Oh God, we submit our lives, our will to you. The almighty God, we worship you. We surrender our heart, our life. God, we love you. Oh, how deeply is our love for you. Our love is strong. We love you with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. Oh, to behold your beauty and to hear the sound of your voice and to feel the precious touch of you, the Almighty God, upon our life is more than what mere words can express because you are far lovelier than anything that has been created both visible and invisible our delight is in you our honor is to you and our worship oh God our worship is to you how we love you you are the God of the breakthrough. You're the God of faithfulness and preservation, healing, wholeness. Oh God, how we honor you today. I pray that you smile today. I don't know if your heart flutters or not. But when I think of you, I can feel it on the inside of me. It's like, it's like what happened to John the Baptist when he was in the womb. He leaped. And God, it's like something inside of me leaps. When I think of you, and somehow I pray in the very inner parts of your heart that we touched you, we pleased you, and most of all, we made you smile. I would like that. You are special. And I love you. Oh God, I love you. I worship you. Bless you. As I stand before you, in the magnificence of who you are. My dear Lord, I have a prayer. And it is for the people. It is for this nation. It is for the nations of the earth. You are a God of judgment. You're a God of justice. Your very foundation of thy throne is righteousness, justice. Your God people have had to deal with lies and injustice, evil. And God, what's worse is the exploding of the children. Yet you have promised in Psalm 91 that with our eyes we shall see the reward of the wicked. It is their day. It is the day of reckoning. And I ask you to defend the innocent and come with the strong power of your right hand and save us save our country and touch this earth and lastly I pray anyone with a condition anxiety, fear, sickness worry hopelessness, helplessness loneliness in my last part of this prayer I ask you show yourself to these people and bless them as you bring a breakthrough 
in Yeshua's precious, precious, glorious name. Thank you, Lord. Man, it's in moments like this that it's like I just don't even want to do anything else but just stand here. You know, every day I wake up and I look at my bride of 34 years and I never question her love. Every day she tells me she loves me. And I feel that way with the Father and with Yeshua, the Son of God, my Lord, and with the Holy Spirit. I never not one day question his love or his commitment. I'm in a covenant of marriage, and I'm in a covenant of marriage with you, God. And I just feel that today because some of you are questioning God, whether it be over your life, over your condition. You're questioning it over the nation. You're questioning it over the nations of the earth. And God already promised us neither death nor life, nor principalities or powers or things present or things to come. Not new mandates can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. For the sake of time, I feel like there's a lot of things that God has his hand on in this service that we need to just let him, let him do it. But I feel very strongly for those of you that are watching around the world or those of you that are in the room today. Listen, we have been in a harsh season for almost three and a half years, at least since before the decade 2020, everything kind of got interesting. And there was a time in 1 Kings 18, for three and a half years, there was a famine. Can you imagine? It must have been really harsh. It must have been hot, dry. Can you imagine the conditions that people had to live under? But then something began to happen. All of a sudden, the prophet Elijah comes and he says, Listen, even though the conditions may look like this, the news is reporting it. The media is declaring this. And when you look at things and events in the earth, it may look contrary. But he heard something. He heard the sound of an abundance of rain. You know what it marked? It marked that there was something that was shifting that wasn't yet necessarily manifested or identified in the earth. Yet God already was moving towards the abundance of rain. It marked a shift from the harshness that they had been under. And I pray today, this is where some of you are at. You've had enough of the harshness. You've had enough of the season that we've been in that has had the hand of man upon it. But I declare that there is a sound today of an abundance of rain, meaning there is a divine shift that has come by the hand of God himself. And it's going to begin to turn things greater in our favor. And so, Father, this is what I pray for the people in the sound of my voice. Those that are here, those that are watching, and those that will watch by the archive. Whatever they're facing, whatever the harshness of the season that has been upon them, God, may they hear that there is a sound. A sound marking a shift. Something 
is changing of the current season. And God, I believe that you are coming to restore. I believe that you are coming to lift the harshness off of the people. And you are coming to bring us into the greatest hour and season that we have ever experienced. And so, Lord, I pray today for your hand of divine intervention to come and to turn people's captivity and their situation and show the goodness of God that men will praise you and know that it is you, the Lord God, that has done it. And if you agree with that, I want you to say amen.